Look at the John chapter 9, John chapter 9 and verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? They obviously thought this was some form of punishment that this man was uh, going through because of uh, maybe his parents' sin or his own personal sin. Now, it's not always the case. It may be, but it's not always the case. Jesus answered, Neither uh, hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Well, this was clearly a point that uh, he's trying to make here, that no, this man had not sinned, nor his parents, to cause him to be born blind. So it was nothing to do with that. He said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sin. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seeing. The neighbours, therefore, and they uh, which before had seen him that was blind, said, Is not this uh, he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, uh, How were thine eyes opened? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought to the Pharisees him that uh, aforetime was blind, and it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. They say unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him, that he hath opened thine eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind, and received his sight, until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked him, saying, Is this your son, who ye say was born blind? How then doth he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind, but by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. These words spake his parents because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, or he was God's anointed, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents... Uh, therefore said his parents, He is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man which was blind, and said unto him, Give God the praise, we know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. 
We know that God spake unto Moses, as for this fellow, we, not know, uh, we know not from whence he is or from where he is. They failed to recognize the Lord Jesus Christ for who he really is. He's the Christ of God, my friend. He's God's anointed. The Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. But is he your Savior? You need to make him your Savior, my friend. Otherwise, you'll die and be in hell at the moment of death. This is not God's will at all. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The man answered and said unto them, Why wherein, or herein, is a marvellous thing, that ye know not from whence he is, or from where he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of God, and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast all altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. These people were, thought they were cut above other people. You get those sort of people now, even in the world that we live in. You know, these people, there was a lot of people called Pharisees, and they were thought they were cut above everyone else. They were very proud sort of a people. But you know, God puts us all on the same uh, level, my friend. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all into the same boat, we're all tied with the same brush. We're heading down to hell because of our sins that have not been forgiven. If that's your case this afternoon. But I'm here that this afternoon that your sins would be forgiven. That you would come to know the only way of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God who died upon the cross. For you and for me that you and I could be saved. That you and I could become children of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, he's either going to be our saviour or he's going to be our judge. What will it be for you? Saviour or judge? Heaven or hell? Salvation or damnation? It's up to you. Your eternal destiny, my friend, depends on what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. Will he be your saviour? Or will he have to be your judge? Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see might not see, and they that uh, which uh, see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these things, or heard these words, and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say we see, therefore your sin remaineth. So you and I have to realize that we are blind spiritually as far as God is concerned. We're heading down to hell because we are blind spiritually. And we're dead spiritually as well in the sight of God. We need to be made alive in Christ. We need to have the new birth, my friend. We need to be saved by the grace of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we do not put our faith in Christ, we'll end up dying and going down to hell. And God does not want that for you, my friend. I'm not here to waste my time and beat around the bush. I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ so that you might come to him for your eternal salvation. That you might reach out the hand of faith unto him this afternoon. Come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood, even, the forgiveness of sins. Yes, your sins can be forgiven through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which he shed upon the cross of Calvary when he was crucified for you and for me. 
Christ died for our sins according to scriptures. And he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour, my friend. He desires to save your soul this afternoon. And I'm here to tell you this afternoon, Acts 4.12 clearly says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If you're not saved, you remain out of Christ without a saviour and heading down to hell because your sins have not been forgiven. I hope that won't be your case, because if you die like you are, like you've been born into this world, like we've all been born into this world as a sinner, without salvation, we'll be in hell. And as I said, God does not want you to be in hell. He sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross for you and for me. There's no salvation apart from Jesus Christ. You've got to come to Christ to be saved, my friend. You've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you and thanks for listening.